Hey church, it's great to be with you again. I hope you're having a great day so far. And like always, you know, we're just so honored that you would take time out of your day to spend time with us getting into God's word, listening to what he wants to speak to us. And so today we're going to be in Mark chapter 4. We're going to be reading verses 30 through 32. So let's go ahead and get into it. It says, Jesus said, how can I describe the kingdom of God? What story should I use to illustrate it? It is like a mustard seed planted in the ground. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it becomes the largest of all garden plants. It grows long branches and birds can make nests in its shade. Um, you know, Jesus, he loved speaking through parables. He loved using stories to, uh, to illustrate his point. And so today we're going to be pulling a few observations out of this passage, trying to see exactly what it was that Jesus is trying to communicate to us. And so the first thing is, you know, why a mustard seed? Why would Jesus mention specifically a mustard seed? And I don't know if you've ever held a mustard seed in your hand. They're tiny. They're one of the smallest of all seeds. But when it grows to its full potential, it can get to over 12 feet tall. And so there's this massive contrast between, you know, what this seed starts at in its original form and to what it can grow into. And so Jesus, he's showing us something here. And it's interesting when Jesus describes this plant, he says that it's large enough to provide shade and it's a place where birds can make their nest, where they can find their home. You know, as we allow that seed that God has planted to grow in us, other people around us feel the benefit of it. You know, it makes us a better employee. It makes us a better spouse. It makes us a better parent. It has a massive impact on the world around us. You know, for me, when I think about this point, I think about my dad. Um, you know, my dad, he was 19 when he got saved. And, uh, he didn't know God at all, man. He was lost as you could possibly be involved in all kind of stuff. But, you know, he was an electrician at a plant and there was a guy that would just minister to him every single day. He would share Jesus with my dad. And over time, eventually my dad ended up giving his life to Jesus. And when he did, it wasn't like halfway, man. My dad got like all the way saved. And I think I was probably four or five at the time. And we started going to church every week. We were just consistent with it. And God, man, he just got a hold of my dad's life. And uh, my dad ended up going into full-time ministry. He was a college pastor, had tremendous impact on so many students, led so many students to God, mentored, discipled so many. And, uh, you know, now he's been married over 40 years. I think about my sister and myself. You know, our kids are serving God. They're active in church. They're leading worship. Uh, you know, I've gone into full-time ministry here at Healing Place. So many people people have been affected by that one decision that he made over 40 years ago, just a 19-year-old kid, gave his life to Jesus, and generations have been affected. And so, you know, spiritual growth, it might start small, but it has the potential for an enormous results. Um, you know, and it may not happen overnight. It might not be instantaneous. But over time, the, the more that that seed that's planted in us grows, we start just to look more and more like Jesus. We start to take on his character. We start to take on his nature and become like him. You know, maybe you're listening to this and you might not feel that significant. You might not feel that useful. But the truth is, is that God wants to deposit something inside of you with enormous uh, potential. And our responsibility is to receive that seed. It's to water, it's to help it grow. And we do that by exposing ourselves to God's word, uh, consistently being in God's word, surrounding ourselves with the right people, spending time in his presence, spending time in prayer and in worship. And as we do that, you know, it, it just opens up the door for incredible possibilities and ways that God can use us. And the last thing I'll mention is this, is that there's power in small beginnings. This wasn't the first time that Jesus talked about a mustard seed. Listen to what he says in Matthew chapter 17, verses 20. He's talking to his disciples. He says, you don't have enough faith. I tell you the truth. If you had faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. You know, on our own, we don't have a lot to offer. But, you know, God, he doesn't need a lot to do big things. I was thinking about that little boy with the five loaves and the two fish. He didn't have a lot, but he gave Jesus what he did have. And he did something amazing with it. He fed a multitude. And so, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at in your faith journey. Maybe you just got saved. Maybe you just started. Or maybe you've been serving God for a while. 
It's never too late to give God whatever it is that's in your hands, whatever it is that you have to offer, and watch him do something amazing with it. Amen. You know, I want to leave you with a couple ways that you can apply this, this scripture to your life. You know, this is kind of a recap, but, you know, don't despise small beginnings. You might feel small, but God wants to do big things through you. Amen. And the second thing is this, you know, a seed can't grow if you don't water it. You know, Pastor Mike, he always says, you know, nothing gets healthy with neglect. We've got to water the seed that God has planted in us. And, and like I said before, we do that by getting in God's word. We do that by surrounding ourselves with the right people, by spending time in God's presence. And as we do that, that seed that God has planted in us can grow and he can use it to do more than we ever imagined. Amen. I'd love to pray for you as we finish today. God, we love you. Uh, Lord, I thank you for the seed that you've placed in each and every one of us, God. And Lord, I pray, God, that it would grow into something, God, just full of potential, God, more than we could ever imagine or dream. And God, we know that it's not for us, God. It's for the world around us. And so, God, I pray that you would use us, God, to reach those that you've put in our life. And God, we do it all for your glory. God, we love you. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Hey, have a great day.